Where is your clicker? Which way do I press it? That one there. Yep. Hello, everybody. Uh, Resitech Limited, <coughs> founded in 2012 and based in the Space Innovation Centre near Oxford, is a software as a service provider of land carbon data. So first question, what's land carbon? Well, fundamentally, it's the amount of stored carbon in a given area, and there's huge demand to know the value of that land carbon and whether it can be traded. Bloomberg in 2011 valued the carbon market to have been uh, 169 billion euros. My name is Tim Vallings. I'm the commercial director of Resitech, and with our core team of seven, we've been involved with taking startup companies in the software and technology space to market for the past 20 years or so. Most notably, uh, Helvetta, a supply chain tracking software which grew from startup to ranking 11th in the 2010 Deloitte Fast 50, and also DACG, a provider of software and professional services, which was taken to a NASDAQ float in 1998 with revenues of 80 million and a five year CAGR of 80%. Resitech uses satellite images of Earth, known as Earth Observation Data. We take this data and apply our unique IP in house software so that we can provide useful, accurate, and independently verified data for carbon for forested land globally. As a sector that exists already, monitoring, reporting, and verification for anyone originating carbon credits is mandatory. However, the costs associated with obtaining accurate data are high, mainly due to the methodologies used. Physically measuring trees is the most common way. So measuring trees from the ground takes a long time, is often very uh, difficult to access in terms of its... Uh, Geography is highly labour-intensive and is infrequently um, repeated. And as a result, monitored land costs can be as high as $500 per kilometre squared. The Resitech solution is to provide the land carbon data through satellite data analysis, which dramatically reduces the need for extensive measuring of trees on the ground, increases frequency with which the data can be obtained, and it provides analytics so that the data and, um, that's obtained can assist the traders and the wider community with forecasting and other things that they may wish to do. And we believe we can reduce transaction costs by up to 80%. Today's starting point for our business model is land carbon data going back to April 2001. So with regards to independent validation, we're working with University College London and we're also working with the National Physical Laboratory to embed their error and uncertainty validation, which is called TrueDAT, into our solution. And when we go live in April of this year, we will be the only company in the world able to provide and sell this data commercially. We've booked £104,000 in income in our first year of operation through grant awards, and our target is to be a $100 million company turnover by 2018. We are EIS approved already, and none of our grant income is diluted for shareholders. So, from an investor perspective, we've raised £350,000 to date from angel investments, and we're looking to secure up to a further £500,000 in funding on similar terms. We've been awarded a number of grants, which are detailed in the slide, and we're in discussions at the moment with the European Space Agency about a very significant award to be disclosed at the appropriate time. But importantly, it'll be related to the scalability of our company. At this early stage of our existence, the data sets that we have give us significant value already, and this is only going to grow. So when we go to market, we plan to structure it in three main ways. Firstly, on a licensed SaaS basis, so that users can go online and subscribe for the data and the analytics that they may wish. Secondly, we're engaged in extensive partner planning with consultancy firms already providing data around this area to their clients and who are looking to add to their own professional services. And finally, speaking directly with clients ourselves. All our clients will have the choice to purchase the data only, which, as we know, they're already doing at much higher cost. They will also have the opportunity to interrogate the data further and apply their own rules on the data to incorporate it into their own systems where they may already exist. To give you an example, statistically, 2009-10, Shell alone spent £8.5 million on land-based carbon data and information. The market already exists. What we're trying to do is complement it with a new route and a, and a more cost-efficient route to that data. Our client base is targeting the financial sector for carbon credit trading, the commodity sector for reporting and inventory taking, and the project development sector for feasibility studies, project design documents and monitoring, reporting and verification requirements. 
Let me conclude by simply reaffirming our position. Our team has experience of building companies already. We have done it before, and this is our next venture in, in an attempt to do it again. We have a unique technology platform, and all the data will be qualified independently. Thank you very much.